Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Soul Work. I'm your host, Jenny Cousins, and we're live here on Shaw TV. And as we always do, we will indeed be taking calls tonight. And that phone number, Calgary, to write down is 403-539-6710. So make sure you write that number down, Calgary, because after our interview here, then we're going to open up the phone lines and you can certainly give us a call. And on tonight's show, as you all know, I always have a guest on. And I wanted to have this guest on specifically. And you will see why. I meet guests all different ways. Just going for a walk down the street, taking the car in to get serviced. Any little thing, I meet guests. And it was so interesting how we met. And tonight, I want to welcome Paula Lee on the show. Oh, thank you very much, Jenny. Oh, you're you're <laughs> very welcome. You're 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 very welcome. And I know that you're going to make a really big impact. I know you are. <laughs> thank you. For many reasons. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're very welcome. <laughs> now I know that um, you've been um, writing a book. Yes. And um, can you describe to our viewers a bit about what your book is? Okay. What my book uh, is about is um, escaping domestic violence, more or less, uh, showing that you can go from being a victim to a survivor to, in fact, a thriver. Mm -hmm. And so my book was uh, originally uh, the story about my own story. And then as I started to go through, I started to realize that there were a lot of patterns and a lot of cycles, not only that the abuser has, but the, the victim as well. And so I decided to write my story as a healing thing, but it became a workbook for women to, or anyone who's going through domestic violence can work with to sort of regain their, their strength back. Yeah, it's, a, it's, it's an amazing book. Like, it, it, it's, it's an incredible book. Thank you. I don't just sit down and read a book just like that, and I, and <coughs> I did me. with yours. Oh, wow. Yeah. Thank you. Because it it's, it's so well written. Oh, wow. Thank you. It, you know, and I mean, I know that you haven't written other books before. Right. So when I was reading the book, I'm like, wow, Paula. <laughs> like, it, it's incredible, and you really need to get your story out there. Thank you. you yeah. You, you really do. Yeah, I think it's a story that um, that a lot of people will recognize in their own lives in many, many ways, not only physically violent, but mm. also mentally. And uh, But we can all survive. We're all survivors, and we're all thrivers, mm -hmm. and we can get through it. Yeah, because your, your, your book alone isn't the average book of domestic abuse. Y yeah. It's, it's not. Yeah, my unfortunately, that was my second marriage, and yeah. both of my marriages were violent. Um, the second one especially, yeah. so, but uh, I, that's when I started to realize that there were patterns, not only with the men I was choosing, but with myself, mm -hmm. yeah, because it, it's, it's self-esteem a lot of times is what the problem is, mm -hmm. and you figure the first seven years of your life is, you have no say what's put into your psyche, mm -hmm. into your subconscious, so a lot of times you have to go that far back to start mm -hmm. to heal again. So what made you write it like what gave you that kind of well I was or? I was actually when I was in the domestic violence shelter down in New Mexico I started to write journals I started to journal and when I got back to Canada I had about six journals and I thought I'm, I'm gonna just throw these out I'm not even gonna look at it it's the past that's it and then I thought well maybe there's a message so I went back through my journals and realized there is a big message you know not only for me but for so many mm -hmm. others because mm -hmm. i know that on your book you're using the name and an o and on and on a n n e o h n yes. like and on meaning anonymous because it's just not my story oh wow yeah. i i i didn't know that yeah I, I, that wow that's really good yeah that, that that's really good um so i know your book is nonfiction. Right. Um, and, and what really inspired you with rereading your journals? Um, to start to heal myself, for one yeah. thing. Uh, but then I realized that there was, I, I really feel I could help a lot of other people. Mm -hmm. um, I think there's a lot of similarities. And as they read through, it sort of layered my story and then 
then a question, sort of a workbook idea comes up. So something that jogs their memory um, because the th things happen the same, then they can start to write that down. And I'm hoping these women will also start to journal and and mm -hmm. uh, do that. Yeah. Yeah, because when I when I started reading it, I noticed that part of of you know the workbook, and I thought, wow. Yeah. That that's phenomenal because you know even the questions that you ask you know as the reader okay different questions i thought that that's going to spark them to really ground themselves exactly and make them realize that they're not alone that yeah uh, yeah that that we all do the same we all have the same sort of cycle yeah 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 which and is interesting and and it's it, it, it'll be really, you know, it's not just a story. No. Y y you know, it, it's so different. That, that's why I wanted to have you on because, you know, I've, I've known women who've been abused and such like that. And, and um, y you know, I was one of them years ago, so I can relate. Exactly. So that's why I get to know someone for a while before anything. Right, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, it sort of puts us in that little shelter safety yeah, zone. Yeah, it, it, it does, yeah. and, and the questions alone. Can you tell us some of, just a couple of the questions even that um, you've added in there? Well, mo a lot of them will, like with domestic violence, it's sort of like, uh, it goes in cycles. So you have like your your honeymoon, you have your good stage, then the bad stage, then the honeymoon stage and mm -hmm. stuff like that. So a lot of the things that we can recognize a, a potential abuser abuser coming into our lives is certain things like for instance uh the time he tells you that you look fantastic you don't need to wear makeup and you know you're you're just beautiful as you are and then how it gets to where he's not letting you wear makeup and you know where all of a sudden if you're out and you're getting 50 million texts like where are you and stuff like that it, one time we might have thought that was romantic, like he's wondering mm -hmm. where I am, he misses me. Um, mm -hmm. But when it starts to get to a point, so a lot of times I would get to a part of my story and, mm -hmm. and just ask what similarities they saw, even though it's totally my story, there's a lot of the same um, things that they find. Yeah, because yeah. it, it, that's the thing, it makes you think. It's like paying attention to the red flags. Exactly. This is it. It's yeah. it's it's paying attention to the red flags, yeah. because we're so programmed sometimes by yeah. our subconscious that a lot of times we'll fight those red flags mm -hmm. even if we do recognize them. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Because I know you do paintings. And yes. They're really good, Paula. Thank you very and, much. And I love the painting you gave me. Oh I, well, thank you. Thank that you. Was well, thank you for accepting it. Oh. Um, yeah. That was part of my healing. I uh, started taking up painting last year, um, and what I do is on my canvas I write. Uh, a positive affirmation before I start to paint and then I paint my background and I have no clue what's going to come up but sort of so that's been a lot of healing for me as well just um, I never knew I thought in so many colors so that was interesting too yeah because colors say a lot with energy I was really impressed yeah that I, that I just started painting with colors yeah <laughs> was, yeah yeah because you you also sell them yes I've been yes. um Lucky I had uh, one show at uh, Lux Laundromat <laughs> up on 14th and, and once a month he takes in a local artist, mm -hmm. which is really nice and showcases them. So it, that was in January, so I was very blessed to have that. And at the same time, Avenue Magazine happened to go out and do a interview with him and, I, and my work happened oh, to be wow. there, so it was really great. So, yep, so my work is up for sale. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> and I've got a couple of pieces here today. Um, I've given a lot to charity, of course, and, and stuff like that, which yeah. is great. Yeah, because I know that um, <coughs> with your me. book, you are looking um, for like a publisher. Yes. Um, to get it out there. Because I know that a lot of times now you have to have an agent to sell your book or you know to get it published or, or anything in the market of somehow right so you know if there's anyone out there who wants to give paul a hand you know by all means that would be great um yeah. i would love to see the book actually put into women's shelters yes um somewhere where uh, as opposed to the harlequin romances that are in some shelters that a lot of yes. women still believe in <laughs> yeah yeah it, and it's just something that they can go at their own pace and yeah and work out yeah it, it, it's so it was so good it, it was so good Paula like I'm like Thank wow you. it 
you know, it's a past life thing, obviously, for yeah. you to be a writer because. Yeah, it, you know. it, it flowed. Like, yeah. it didn't take me any time to write it at all. Yeah, yeah. as a matter of fact, I'm just, I just finished a second book, uh, but a comedy one liner. <laughs> 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 that uh, I have my executive producer in Toronto that's working with me on that, Rick King. Oh, wow. Um, and uh, so that's, that should be good. And I've also just started writing a depression workbook. And that would be yeah, really good. Yeah. Because there's so many, you know, bipolar people or depressed people, exactly. especially now with the way things with have our economy and and stuff like that. And a lot of people don't even recognize they're depressed. Yeah, ex yeah. exactly. And yeah. you are the perfect. Per you're, you're such a friendly, warm, welcoming person. Oh, thank even you. Even when I met you, you know, at the store, you just bring this energy of welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So you're, you'd be a true gift to anybody. You, you really would. Pure asset to anyone. Pure gift. Well, thank you. I'd, I you would know. like to go around and, and do some public speaking yes. on the book and, and, and speak to women's groups or, or children's groups. That was one of the things that when I was in the shelter in New Mexico, um, I was trying to wrap my head around that I had let something happen to me a second time. Uh, so I sort of became a hermit, but I started to watch the children in the, in the shelter and how they were treating their moms. And, and so I sort of um, focused on the kids and started taking them mm -hmm. as uh, under my wing and teaching them how to bake yeah. cookies and stuff like that and just helping them to also see what happened and that they should be honoring their mom for making that choice to leave. Yes, that, yeah. that's phenomenal. So if someone wanted to like get in touch with you, what, <coughs> what's the best way for them to do that? Um, I do have a page on Facebook, uh, the same name as my book, um, The Woman in the Mirror, and uh, by Anne On. And um, so Facebook would be my best. Also, my artwork is under Fat Broad Art with a PH. <laughs> <laughs> um, and that's under also in the Facebook. Yes. So if they want to take a look at my art, and they can also contact me yeah. through there. Under Paula Lee as well. And under Paula Lee yeah. as well. Yeah, because yeah. she's, you're just so wonderful to talk to. Oh, like well, you, thank you, you. You're very, like, really, really, really good with people. I noticed that. I've seen that with you. Thank you, you yeah. Know, you could take someone who is, like, just completely off the street, and I saw yeah. you do that, you know, and just really bring that person back to life and give them some hope and faith. And, and I'm that's like, what I want to do. That's what I saw on you, you well, know, plus you. other things. So, well, thank you, because that's exactly what I want to do. That's just you. I want to, I want to, yep, I want to just let people know that they are full of love and light. And yes. And that they, they are themselves. They are unique. Yeah. We all are unique. Yeah. <laughs> In our own way. In our own way. <laughs> <laughs> so, Calgary, we're going <coughs> to take a commercial break here. And, when we come back, we are opening up the phone lines. Give myself and Paula a call. And that number, Calgary, is 403-539-6710. We'll be right back after this short commercial break.